this area, the number of umbrellas on the side. Why? Because of the sun. And it's also rain, when it rains. This area is called Ajisu. Say Ajisu. 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 Yeah. Ajisu. Now, Ajisu plays a major role in the Ashanti Kingdom. In 1890, the British governor came to Kumasi asking them of the golden stool. And they said they will never give the golden stool to him. But in 1886, there has been a series of calls on the Ashantis to release the golden stool so that they will go and give the golden stool to the Queen of England. And Ashanti said, no, we won't do that. The golden stool is not something that we sit on. Governor Hudson, who was governor at that time, became so angry. And then he came with soldiers to come and destroy Ashantis, <clears throat> to fight them. He brought soldiers from all West African protracted countries and soldiers from London to come and fight Ashantis. In 1886, he succeeded in capturing some of the royals and some of the uh, Ashanti kings, sent them to Almina Castle because they refused to give them the golden stool. And from Almina Castle, they were sent to Social Island. Four years after the deportation of their king, Nana Prempe, Governor Hussein came back again demanding the golden stool. And normally, as I told you, women don't fight. But Queen Mother of Ejisu stood tall. And she said, No, we will not give you the golden stool. When they had a meeting, he told the governor that if you want us to give you the golden stool, go and bring our kings and then our royals from wherever you took them. Our shanties were trekking, walking through the forest to Almina to go and free their king. Yesterday, how many hours did we drive from all the way from Almina to this place? And they were walking through the forest with guns to Elmina Castle. When the British saw that, they have to take their kings and their royals from there to Seychelles Island. Later when they heard that they are taking them to Seychelles Island, the Queen Mother, uh, during that meeting, told the governor, will you please bring our royals? If you need a golden stool, they have the golden stool. We don't have it. So bring them and let them show you where the golden stool is. And you take it away. And the governor considered that as pomposity. As a result of that, the queen mother crossed a gun in front of him. If anyone is to cross, uh, those in the military know, they cross a gun in front of you, they have declared a war. Traditionally, if you are entering into a town and you see two sticks cross like this down, don't enter, you go back. There is something happening there. So he crossed a gun in front of him and declared a war. The governor went back and then mobilized soldiers from Britain and from all West African protracted English-speaking countries to come and fight the Ashantis. When the Queen Mother heard that they were coming, she moved the golden stool with a certain group of soldiers to a certain area to hide the golden stool. She said she will never sit down for them to take the golden stool. It is better for them to take a life than to take the golden stool. So she hid it. They traced her on several areas. They couldn't find her. But it got to a time that 
when they were running away at a certain area, one of the bodyguards was shot on the leg and he was arrested. But they took a good issue away. Then they took him to a crowd and deceived him, tricked him. Hey, you know what? Tell us where the good news to this. We are going to they fed him well, they treated him well. We are going to give you <coughs> money. We'll take you to see the king and the queen and a whole lot. So he also came out to tell them where the queen mother is hiding. <coughs> Not that far, it took them almost a year to locate where the queen mother was hidden. And when the queen mother saw that they have closed in, he ordered some of the soldiers to take their bodies to away and go and hide it at a certain place. So when the court arrested queen, the queen mother, the bodies too was not there. <coughs> the British built a fort in Kumasi here. They put her there. With the knowledge that when she is there, she will tell them where the good is to this. She never did. As an as a soldier, if your enemy will arrest you, what do you do? You take a poison and you die yourself. You kill yourself. Just commit suicide. It is better than for you to be tortured. A lot of soldiers did that. So during their war, they have a gunpowder and they have a poison. If you arrest them, they will take the poison and they are gone. From the fort here, they took her to Elmina Castle and from Elmina Castle to Suchet Island where she lost her life. So they never had the gold history. After this took place in 1900, 1900. After knocking their door for a longer time, they burnt a certain part of Kumasi. At that time, it was in it was Kumasi. <coughs> They burnt a certain part of it. Some of the cheese houses and whatnot. They never had a good history. Later on, Ashantis thought very wise and tricked the British. They had a wood and they sprayed it with bronze and gave it to them as a good history. And they also accepted it. They took it. Years and years later, they found out that Ashantis are wiser than them. They tricked them. So they brought the gold <laughs> stool back, fake stool back, which is there at the museum right now. Wow. Yeah. So the gold stool doesn't come out anyhow. Once in every, I think, 10 years or so. Wow. Once in every 10 years. I've seen it once in my life. You say that once? Yeah. I wish I could see it every year, but <laughs> you can't. The Golden Stood alone has a, a chief that is in charge of that, <clears throat> and then have soldiers who are guiding it, military men, not government military, but Ashanti military men, who are more powerful than those who are using AK-47. They are spiritually powerful, physically strong, you may see them as old men and old ladies. They can see far where you can see shadow. The British can see shadow. So they tricked them and they never had the good history. So what that woman did, the Queen Mother did, in Ghana, any woman who show a sign of bravery is given that name, Ya Asantowa. Ya Asantowa. Ya Asantowa. During the naming ceremony, Shabazz even made mention of a letter. Who was Ya? Yeah. And someone was Ya. Yeah. Aha. He made mention of it. So that is the history of Ya Asantua and the Buddhist of Ashanti. Thank you. Thank you.